Hey guys, I know, I know, I know, I know, like, I'm always in the same room each vlog, but honestly, that's how my day starts. I actually had a really bad night, so I'm gonna do like a quick explanation. So, last night, after the interview that I did with, um, Delincina and I, I don't know which vlog is gonna go up first, but if it's already up, I'll put the link down below. If it's not, then it should be up next. I don't know, I can't really think right now. So I did an interview and basically I spoke about my ex. Okay, so relation COVID, okay on this. COVID COVID. Mwakote Fabrice Amos. Nous venons lockdown dans même cas, nous passons tout relationship là en dans cas, so Covid vient fini nous quitter. Ok, c'est tout. Tu veux dire que c'était pas voulu? Non. Comme si ou pas très bien. Il a passé le développé bill, just pour nous retourner dans cas et puis that's it. Tant 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 tant. Ça veut dire pas de la dernière. So I guess he felt some type of way and a lot of people were dissing him, making fun of him. So he decided to post a picture of me wearing no wig, no makeup on the internet. And right now, as we speak, so many pages are reposting my pictures as, as we speak right now. And last night, I went to an event, and like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do this, if it's going to go before or after. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I can't think right now. So I went to an event. As I'm in the event, people are like tagging me, tagging me, tagging me. And the first thing I see when I open my Instagram is me bare naked like not naked but like no makeup no wig and he actually took that picture back in miami when we used to when we used to live together and i remember that day like it was my washing day like i removed my wig and we were that comfortable with each other where he we were very comfortable with each other he would see me without my wig and stuff like that so it was that type of relationship that we had but never like in a million years, I would think that he would use that to diss me. And I have information on him. Like, trust me, a girl always has information on their ex. But I thank God for listening to my guy friends. I was with one of my guy friends, Spencer. I think you guys met him on the live already. And he told me, you know what's going on? Like, he has your nudes, like he had those videos, like I'm not gonna deny anything, like there's videos of me and him, like kissing, fucking, licking, doing all of that, like very nasty. And I don't want, I don't wanna deal with revenge porn. Like I don't, I don't wanna do that. I don't, I don't think my mind is ready for that. So yeah, I'm just gonna like let it go. Like I'm gonna stop at, because me and him were going back and forth, back and forth, and I'll try to insert some posts. I just don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with, you know, my pictures being on the internet, and then, you know, my future husband seeing that one day, or whatever. Am I embarrassed? I am embarrassed, but I feel like these things, like, to, to, to be in a certain type of position, I should shower first before I do that. I'm such an idiot. Let me just shower, okay, and I'll be back. This thing got white. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. So, am I embarrassed? Yes. Did I think he was gonna post it? No, not in a million years. But guess what? My friend did tell me that. My friend told me three hours before because he sent me the picture out of nowhere. He was like, oh, that's what you wanna do, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he sent me the picture out of nowhere. But he always does that. Even when we're in love even when we were in love and we were fighting he would always send me that picture just to like humble me you know what i mean so when he sent that to me and then i showed it to my friend my friend's like 
bruh, he's gonna post it. And I'm like, no, he's not gonna do that. I know, my ex-man, I know that he's not gonna do that. And then he did, he didn't post it on his page, he gave it to someone and someone posted it. So technically, he posted it. The thing is, I'm not embarrassed of myself or whatever. I'm embarrassed because I hate I mean, I am embarrassed because One second <sighs> Everybody been asking me how I am Like I don't know if I hate people for not asking me or if I hate people for asking me But I definitely love the people who call me like take their time to call me when I see their call coming through I'm like, oh and then when I finally open up and then they start talking and it's like it feels really good so now people really base my beauty off of that picture and it's like it's insane to me it's really insane to me just so yeah, I'm definitely ashamed because I feel like that's something that's forever on the internet like I could never like whenever I open my mouth about something, I feel like people are gonna throw that picture back in my face. My ex published that picture. Somebody that I trusted with my body, my my mind, my soul, he betrayed me like that. You know what I mean? And I think that's the part that hurts the most. It it honestly it hurts. Um and the thing is now, like I'm trying to focus like on like a new relationship and I feel like I'm super embarrassed because it's like the guy has to like deal with this ugly ass picture on the internet and people making fun of me. So nobody wants to be with a girl like that. Nobody wants to, and that's why like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fucking cry. So I kind of like wanna back off away from the guy. Like I don't wanna make it awkward for him, like keep calling him. I never used to do that anyways, but I feel like now for sure, like I'm not gonna do that. Like if he wants to continue talking to me, then I, I will allow it. It seems like it, but I don't know. But I'm not going to like force it on him because like it's super embarrassing. Like I. Honestly, if that was the other way around, honestly, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know. An advice that I want to give to people, like people that are dating, um, don't trust nobody. Even the people that, even the person that you're dating, even the person that you think that you're so in love with, do not trust that person with a picture. Like, think about it. If Whatever picture that you think he has and you think, if, okay, if that picture gets out, I'm ruined, don't let him have it. Like, if people told me back in April that he was going to do something like this in January, like 2021, I would have been like, you are such a hater. Leave my chocolate man alone. Because that's, that's, everything was about this guy. Like, I gave him everything don't trust nobody for 2021 people are out here to hurt you make you cry and you know if things don't go their way they will definitely like hurt you hurt you so i want you guys to be careful because this mistake of mine is forever on the internet thank you fabulous noem i could literally count on my hand who's there for me and who's not so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. Actually, eight, sorry, because I was on WhatsApp and somebody called me directly on my phone. So, eight people called to, found, to find out how I was doing. Eight people. I follow 500 people. Literally, eight people called. Four people texted. And when I say text, not like, are you okay? But they're like, you're okay now. Take it easy, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like, take this moment, run with it, do this, do that. Like, I advise you to do that. Like, like, four people did that. 
people for real for real really do not give a fuck about you honestly and 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 you're probably on the other like on the other side of the screen saying girl now you know that or whatever but it's like it hit different when you're actually going through it you know what i mean honestly guys my last vlog i spoke about it i said that i was meant for this life i meant for this life but i didn't know it was gonna hit that i didn't know it was it was you know i didn't know it was gonna be my ex hurting me this quick you know i didn't i didn't know it was gonna be like that i'm getting ready to go to an interview again i'm not gonna speak about it i honestly don't know what she's gonna ask me but if she does bring it up I'm not going to say anything and not because that I'm scared of him because he has my nudes I do not want videos of me sucking dick on the internet and I'm a good sucking dick ass person so I don't want people seeing me as a dick sucker do I make sense and another thing I feel like it's maybe it's fun while you're doing it when your relationship and your guys like recording you or whatever <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and you guys are probably like, I ain't gonna do it, girl. I ain't gonna do it. It's not worth it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> and then y'all gonna do it. But please, really, don't do it. I've been the top, the number one topic since last night. Since 11 o'clock last night till right now, it's 3 p.m. But it's like morning for me because I, was, I didn't sleep. I, I didn't sleep the whole night. I, I, I fell asleep just now for I think 30 minutes and guys mark my words mark my fucking words do you hear me are you guys listening mark my fucking words I will become a millionaire like I'm gonna become famous like I feel it, I smell it like it's basic life. I'm not I'm not judging you guys. <laughs> but it's like yeah, I'm gonna become I'm gonna become a millionaire. Uh so I don't know, this part is bothering me. So if you're watching this, please put some encouraging words in the comment section down below so I'm done with my hair I'm gonna get my makeup done there it's literally 3 30 like I'm supposed to be there at 3 30 where's this guy so I'm gonna leave this on till I get there Another thing guys, like the guy that I'm that I like and the guy that's talking to me I guess, um I feel like he doesn't he's part of the four people, but I feel like he doesn't really check up on me the way I want to. So that's so that's why I'm telling myself like, yeah, he don't like you no more, sis. Like he saw your your ugly side and decided to run. Damn, 2021, that's how you gonna start? Dead ass, that's how you gonna start. Okay, so, I'm sorry guys. I feel like every single interview, like I'm always at the same spot. Like I'm always at my bathroom, talking shit. But that's how I start my day, so. I don't know what heels should I wear. I'm wearing gray and like some jeans. I know. I'm okay. 
Après, je vois. Je vais vous dire ça, je vais vous dire ça, je vais vous ça, je vais vous ça, je vais vous ça, je vais vous ça,